long ago. Narration. Hey, retreat! No, retreat! The unknown! But what is known as the make and model of the Mechon, which, how would the Homs know? Did they name the Mechon? So, is Dixon just Squall Leonhar with the Gunblade? Is, is the Gunblade just a normal weapon in Japan? I'm not throwing my life away. No point dying in some godforsaken field. Nothing for it. I'll have to use Dunban as a decoy. Yeah, that should give me time to escape. You can just escape right now. Dunban and Dixon already left, and by the time they notice you didn't join, you'll be long gone. You know, Dunban, you're doing a bunch of cool shit I wish you could do in the actual game. Hate to drop this on you, but it's the Monado they're after. So have fun keeping them occupied for me. I'm getting the hell out of here! Does the concept of hell even exist on Bionis? Is there an afterlife that they believe in? Oh, 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 oh no, please! No! no, not Mumkar. He was my favorite character. Sorry, I didn't mean for you to come all the way out here during your break. I mean, it's not like you're right outside Colony 9. You've still got quite a way to go before you get there. I'm pretty sure Ryan just came to see you regardless. Oh, so that's why Waluigi isn't in Smash. He's too busy being in this game. You're nothing but slackers! Same old Colonel. At this rate, the men will all be dead before they see any action. What are you talking about? Didn't Vanguard just say that they were a disgrace during the joint forces with Colony 6, which I'm assuming was the Battle of Sword Valley? It was controlling me. What was the point of not letting us hear what Dunban said if you were going to reveal it like two seconds later? Shulk, you're spending too much time in the lab. Either that or rummaging for junk in the scrapyard. It ain't healthy for a kid your age. That's why you're always looking so pasty. You should get out, get some fresh air once in a while. I'm sorry, is the scrapyard not right. out in the open? I mean, hell, he even kicked back for a little bit. It looks like he gets plenty of fresh air. Well, I'm sure you'd like Shulk to try some while it's still hot. Dunban, please, that's your sister! You must have a secret. That's how Dunban was able to destroy so many Mekon. And why he lost the use of his right arm. If I can just unlock the secret of its power. So how come sometimes when people are talking in their head, there's a filter to indicate it, but then other times, like right now, there isn't, making me think that Shulk's thinking out loud? Hmm. It's always delicious. But today, it's amazing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. I used some special herbs and spices today. So if you said it was just the same as usual, I'd know for sure you had no sense of taste. I also don't think he has a sense of bite, Fiora. Oh, he puts the sandwich to his mouth and the sandwich retains its size. The pattern in that circle. Or maybe it's a symbol. I think it shows which power the Monado has at the moment. You think it's... a symbol? I mean, what did you think it was? Oh. Just gibberish on a magical sword? I can find... ah! Ah! We interrupt Xenoblade Chronicles to bring you that so raven. Anyway, did you collect the cylinders? Yep, yeah, all done. Thanks. Just come by yourself from now on. Well, damn, Fiora, maybe he wants to hang out with you guys. No! We'll never get in there now! Wait. Let me think here. Uh, Shulk? Your colony's kind of under attack. I don't think now should be the time to think. And more importantly, why isn't anything attacking them right now? Okay, I believe you. Fior is apparently a fan of just a pancake. What the? Well, that sure was lucky that that didn't hit either Dunban nor Ryan, even though Shulk was standing right in front of them. So, do cameras exist in this world? Because I assume so, given this photo and the way more advanced technology, like gem crafting machines and whatnot, but think about it, this is pretty much the only photo we ever see in this game. It's all very well going after that metal-faced Mechon, but shouldn't we have some kind of plan? Shouldn't you have thought of that before even leaving Colony 9? I mean, granted, you're right outside the colony, but you kind of just said let's go without really thinking about where you were going. Sort of reminds me of the battle between the Bionists and the Mechonists. I wonder if it's anything to do with that. Well, 
It's hard to believe that living things are just a source of energy for machines. There has to be another reason. Foreshadowing. Oh boy. Right! Of the Monado. Wait, but Monado's shield covers everybody. Why doesn't Shulk have a shield too? And shouldn't Ryan have lost the shield after the Queen Arachno attacked? That's strange. Who would just abandon a buggy in this place? And it's pretty new. Is it brand new? Not brand new, but it's in very good condition. I don't know, man. I don't think smoke is a sign of a vehicle being in a good condition. Oh, hi. I'm Juju. Juju. You should come back to our camp. Your camp? Yeah. It's not far. How about it? Let's take him up on the offer. I'm surprised there's a Homs camp here, but they might have some information. I suppose. Juju, can you tell us how to get there? Why don't we sure. just follow the kid? He's heading Should back there back too. To I know that in game I have to get there myself, but in story it makes no fucking sense why we wouldn't just follow him. Juju! Wait, the buggy had enough juice to get to the camp? Where have you been? Why didn't we just ride the buggy? It makes even less sense why you'd give us directions now. Could, um, uh, could you take me with you to the colony? Juju, the people here need us. How many times do I have to tell you? But you heard, the Mechon attacked Colony 9. That means a load of them have left Colony 6 already. It has to. <sighs> Even if that's true, no, especially if it's true, we cannot expose the camp to any more danger. So, you don't care what happens to the people in the colony? Are you not listening to what Charlotte just said? If you go back, you are putting people's lives at risk. Of course she cares about what happens to the people of the colony. This Gaddo. He would have been my husband by now, if not for all this. <laughs> Ryan, you really remind me of Gaddo when you get angry. I, I do? Gaddo's taken care of us ever since we were young. I always saw him as a big brother, really. So you would have been your big brother's wife by now? He'd call him kid That's kind of weird. He told what are you doing? Let's go and find Juju. When you talk like that, you sound just like Gaddo. That's how I know it's not worth arguing. What am I? Some kind of Gatto substitute? You know, starting to think Gatto's not even real and that this chick is just looking for a baby daddy. Come on. Who put this barrier in the way? What the hell are you oh, no, talking about? Ragwell Bridge is a straight up. line. How do you even f*** this up? Looks like I'll have to walk it. They're all cowards. I'll show them all. Bruh, they've got weapons. They're not fighting because it's a smart thing to do, not because they're afraid. You idiot. Wait, does Ryan have Monado speed applied to him too? That's absolute bullshit! I wish you could do that! Child abuse. My metal face scarred. That other face Metcon is called Metal Face? I mean, yeah, but aren't all face Metcon Metal Faced? That's like if my family called me Mexican skinned, and you're not wrong, but why single me out? Truth be told, we were gonna leave without you. But the thing is, I get roughed up a lot, and we don't know anyone else who can use ether. What about Shulk? He knows Light Heal. It's not much, but he still uses ether. I think we should observe them, and plan our attack afterwards. You insolent! We don't have that kind of time! You don't know a damn thing about these machines. I have observed their movements. I've planned this attack for a month! We don't have time, but you've been observing them for a whole month? I don't mean to be an asshole, Tharon, but I feel like that's kind of on you. Juju and the others, tell me where they are. <laughs> you want the brat? Well, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Until I've 
Damn, Sharla, I wish you were this useful in the game. Yes, but there's still no sign of that Mechon with the metal face. He's the one we're really after. Yeah. Hope I'm not interrupting. Well, that was convenient. You may be able to block a projectile, but let's see if you can block this! Well, when you announce and telegraph your attack like that, you can pretty much block anything. I could see the Bionis head. Prison Island. Prison Island? I've it's a secret been. military base that is reinforced and super strong. It's called they Prison Island. If you want to go to the Bionis head, you'll need a guide to get to the upper regions. We're at the bottom. So I guess the only way to go is up. You're right, Dunban. That is how that works. Why even say it? Not to mention, even if you weren't at the bottom, considering you're heading to the Bionis head, wouldn't you be going up regardless? It pains me to say it, but this is the point where I turn back. Honestly, I don't even know what you're still doing here, Atharon. You could have just turned back after the Aether Mines. You haven't done anything since. And Juju. <sighs> Fucking Juju. Sharla, I want to go with Atharon. Are you sure? Yeah. I've never seen anything cooler than Shulk smashing Mechon with the Monado, but I'm just slowing you down. No way, kid. You just need to shape up like me. No, no, Ryan. He's got a point. He's just slowing us down. In all honesty, he's only caused trouble since we met him. It's just that... It feels like the Bionis isn't really dead. Huh? Wait a minute, Shulk. If the Bionis starts moving around, things won't look good for us. To be fair, you're on the inside, Ryan, so there's not a whole lot to worry about. It's the people on the outside that should be worrying. This is the third time we've seen this cutscene, and we're not even close to this actually happening. You. Uh. Shulk, what's wrong? Another vision? Kind of. I'm not sure. You're not sure? I feel like kind of was a better answer. You could have just said I've seen her in past visions or something like that. We're gonna need watertight ether crystals. I'll load the crystals into a cartridge to shoot from my rifle. Eh? Hey? You, you're gonna shoot her? No, silly. I'll fire them into the air and the dispersed ether will heal her. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. Ryan, Charlotte has healed you before. You should know that that's not how that works. Can't just use any old crystal. Unless they must be she does shoot you. I suggest you stop staring. The sword is yours to wield. What was that light? That's what you're wondering? Not how the f*** did he throw you the Monado and then show up behind you after you caught it? This is the only fight where Alvis is part of your team, and that's just lame. Yeah, technically. Alvis. Who are you? Wait, you're on the rock over here? Just across from the shore where Shulk and Ryan should have been able to see you? Home, home! Home here! Home here! Home who? Home who? Home, home everywhere! Me won't touch home, home! Me won't nibble home, home! Home, home taste pig! Home, home scary! Oh. Is that racist? That's racist. Forgive me, Shulk, but what are you talking about? Shulk can see visions of the future. See the future. And you expect me to believe this rubbish. So, when you were explaining to Melia that you used the power of the Monado to beat Telethia, you didn't explain the fact that you could see into the future? You know, kind of the main thing that makes Telethia a problem? Welcome home, Lady Melia. Lady? Huh? Thank you, Captain. These Homs and this Nopon are my guests. See them safely to the guest quarters. Give them anything they need. As you wish. What's going on? I have no idea. Didn't you just give Ryan shit for not knowing first grade history? How's it not obvious to anyone but Dunban that Mally's a pretty big deal around here? The Telethia rained havoc on countless veteran knights. You triumphed where they could not. <laughs> I find it difficult to suppress these feelings of pride for you, my kin. But, Your Majesty, I failed to return with any of the subjects you entrusted to me. My inexperience cost them their lives. Uh, how was any of that your fault? They would have died anyway! Hold on, Alvis. I need to ask you... 
Did Shulk just interrupt himself? It took Elvis a little bit to even react to what Shulk was saying. And so it begins. The resurrection of the Bionis. What of the Monado? I cannot see. My sight is hindered. However... Speak, Seer. Sorry and chill, he wasn't even finished. May I introduce your crown princess? And there's the lady herself. Melia Antiqua. It's... it's her. She's... she's a princess. Okay, so you know what a princess is, but you hadn't put together that Melia was royalty? What's the matter with you? I am presuming they are inquisitors of the Bionite Order. A group of assassins long devoted to the Imperial family. Ridiculous. The Bionite Order are a mere... Myth. The Order existed before records began. I, like many others, believed they had long since died out. Yet here they are before us. Is father aware of this? Bruh, did you not hear your mom? Of course your dad doesn't know about this. Who are you? My name is Dunban. I'm sort of the protector of this mechon bashing band of homes. Dunban, I love you, but the only times I've used you were at the beginning when I'm forced to use you and later on when you're forced to be my party member. You're not protecting shit. As I explained before, Dunban, the defense systems are designed to prevent uninvited- Well, what does this do? Don't touch- Of Think of me as a recreation of said ancestor, possessing his thoughts and speech. But he passed away thousands of years ago. Do not mistake me for a living being. I am a replica of your ancestor. I am merely a projection of what he would be if you were to meet him now. I do not understand. You're surrounded by all of this frankly advanced technology, but you don't understand what AI is? You can eat bread without knowing how to bake it. Makes sense to me. No, oh, f you, Dunban. It is beyond doubt. If I could feel, I would feel joy. I am not real, but I do not lie. Joy? What do you mean? What do you understand, Malia? So far, we can rule out the concepts of artificial intelligence and the emotion known as joy. <laughs> So, the spirits look favorably upon you. <gasps> I just realized, can Melia see through that mask? Or is she going about this through hearing and instinct? Because I don't see how she would see through that mask. Mother's subject. No impure child of the second consort has the right to refer to the first consort as mother. I... The Hom's half-breed have no right to the throne. Why did your echo disappear? You're still in the same room, right? <sighs> Who puts a great big hole somewhere like that? As I explained, it's a defense mechanism. What a mess, Ryan. Friend not clever touching button. <sighs> I'm with these guys, Ryan. How was I supposed to know that was going to happen? You weren't! That's why you weren't supposed to touch the button, Ryan! That's kind of the whole point of a trap! You got us into this mess. And it's not the first time either. Hmm! Ricky, agree with Shulk! Why is it my fault all of a sudden? How is it not? And what do you mean all of a sudden? It was your fault from the moment you considered pushing the button! This route will lead us to the ritual altar. But time is of the essence. We've got to hurry. There's no time to lose. Well, I don't see any of you moving. F*** this goddamn fight, man! I know, Lorethea's fight is considered more difficult, and trust me, we'll get to that one. But my god, on top of dealing with the Telethius bullshit, having the Monado purge him, only for this absolute unit to topple your entire party and then leave you dazed, leading Tyrea, the absolute bitch, to spank you with the cinder block she calls hands and feet. And you better pray to Maineth herself that you have enough talent gauge to apply Monado purge again, because that shit wears off so quick. And you might be thinking, well, why not just deal with Tyrea first? Well, because the Monado doesn't hurt the High Antia. But you need the Monado for the Telethia. I was so sick of hearing, I will not let the throne be sullied. Yeah, that's my own version of you'll pay for your insolence. Tomorrow will be the investiture ceremony. At the appointed time, you will become my successor. Be proud. I... I will. 
Melia, my child, I am overjoyed at how far you have come. You are truly worthy of the throne. Continue the legacy of your High Entia and Homs bloodline. You are the hope of Bionis. I would just like to dedicate this sin to the fact that due to Royal High Entia etiquette bullshit or whatever, Sorian doesn't tell his daughter how excited he is for her, or even that he himself believes that she's the future of their people. Please don't, and I mean this, having experienced a situation where someone I care about lost someone they loved without patching things up, don't pass up the opportunity to tell people in your life that you love and care about them. Life's short, and yeah, I know, the Hyantia lived to be like 300 plus years old, but we don't, so just put petty shit aside and tell people how you feel. You know, how you really feel, before it's too late. Probably be a lot happier that way. Shulk, forgive us for detaining you earlier. You and I are not of the same people. But this I must say. Thank you for helping Why was that line so much louder than the rest of his dialogue? On Prison Island, our forefathers sealed something away, just as they did to the Monado. All records have been lost, and there is now no way to know what it was. Wait, your forefathers sealed away the Monado, and you know why they sealed it away, but there are no records of the ancient giant they sealed, arguably the more dangerous of the two? Not to mention, he's sealed away on Prison Island, which is like right next door to Alchemoth? Compare that to the Monado, which is sealed away at Valak Mountain, a place where you would have to traverse not only the Aerith Sea, but also the Frontier Village and Machna Forest just to reach. You're telling me no other Emperor got curious as to what exactly was on Prison Island, checked, and recorded for posterity? I ask this not as Emperor Sorian Antiqua, but as a father. I do not demand that you act as Melia's protector, but I would be honored if you would be her friend. Admittedly, this is probably one of the most nitpicky things I'll ever say about any game, but Xenoblade has this thing where it loves to recall lines we just heard or replay scenes we just saw every now and then, and I wouldn't mind if they recalled those lines or those scenes with at least a couple of hours in between. This line by Sorin was said, I shit you not, less than five minutes ago. There has been no gameplay in between when he first said it to Shulk and now that Shulk remembers it. Pretty sure it's still fresh in my memory game. I did not interfere with your ministerial affairs. In fact, you should be thanking me. I wonder if he feels the same. We have all the information we need. We know that such a Telethia cannot hurt them. You see? Nothing can befall him before he sees his dream fulfilled. Laura Thea and Alvis are playing the classic pronoun game by Hasbro. Stand and right. Ricky and friends visit Melly now. Hey, the adults are talking, Pops. I am much older than you. There it is. We were too late. Again. You weren't late for anything. I saw it. In fact, Melly was in Sorian's arms right before it happened. You were on the ground behind them. Choke. I need to tell you something. I always thought if Fiora were to be with anyone, it should be you. What? But Ryan hangs out with her just as much as me. Shulk, do you yeah. not want to be with Fiora? Because, I mean, it's pretty obvious how much she favors you over Ryan. You're right, Melia. I've made up my mind. I'm going to get Fiora back. You don't have to do this. I'll go and look for her myself. The burden should be mine. How is getting Fiora back any more of a burden than taking down the Mechon? Like, if you're doing one, you might as well do the other, right? A real case of having your cake, so you might as well eat it too. Yeah, yeah. But remember, the longer he's away, the more chance his feelings for you will fade. But once we find this Fiora, I will personally whisk him back here in a heartbeat. Did Charlotte not know who Fiora was? Even without the context of Dunban? She was our third official party member. How have Shulk nor Ryan even mentioned her once while Charlotte was around? You see some of them have conversations in the background. What the hell are they talking about then? Leaving without me? Do you want to come? To reach Galahad Fortress, you will need to travel through Valak Mountain on the right arm of the Bionis. The snow-covered mountains are fraught with danger. Those unfamiliar to them risk never coming back. I mean, Dunban's been to Sword Valley before. Unless they traveled there on an aircraft, which I guess is likely. I mean, it's not like I don't want you to come. I'm just saying that if you are, you should at the very least be an active party member. First, we will head through Machna Forest. This short-range pod will be our transport. But why do we have to go to Volok Mountain? It's not like the Hyantia don't have better long-range pods. 
Melia's the fucking crown princess. They can't spare a better transportation pod for their ruler? However, why free the Monado? Zanza must realize it is now a double-edged sword. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> sword. <laughs> All right. I could go for a hot cup of Dixon's homebrew right about now. We're not built for this cold. <sighs> it is to be expected. This climate is as different to your home as it gets. It only snows this high up on the Bionis. The Bionis arm? Alchemoth Prison Island and Aerith Sea are on the Bionis head. You know, higher than the arm? Doesn't snow there. We will need to do something about the ice before we can enter. Throw hot water on ice! Yeah, nice one, genius. Precisely. There should be a geezer nearby. In the cave next to it, we will find a stone called Magma Rock. Or, you know, Melia could just use Summon Flare and melt the ice with her ether. Don't know why that wouldn't work. This place... Something up, Shulk? No, it's just... I feel like I know this place. Deja vu. Is French a thing in this world? Like, do different languages sure, exist? We've seen the high end here writings, which could be its own language, but where would the term deja vu come from if French doesn't exist? I can't tell you how badly I wanted this sword. Has this puny boy even figured out how it works yet? I mean, he beat your ass with it, didn't he? Plus, I know you've been with the Mechon for about a year now, but do you know how it works? Would you even do you even know what it does? That thing works by remote. So, unless you want me to put a hole in her neck... <sighs> so what's it to be, weaklings? <laughs> Grovel at my feet and beg! <laughs> we will not bow to you! That was an incredibly irresponsible move on Melia's part. She could have accidentally caused Metal Face's claws to go straight through Fiora's neck or even crush her body. We fight to free the world from the tyranny of the Bionis. Why? Why do you transform us in machines? What do you want from us? Why make us fight for you? Shulk would be great at cinema scenes. It would be most unwise to proceed without restocking our supplies. You arranged this for us. Wait, you arranged this for us? Yet you still made us go to Osei Tower for some reason? Dixon. I know that Alvis has ulterior motives, but the rest of the team don't, so if anything, they should be wondering why he didn't just arrange for us to get here straight from Alchemoth, or at the very least, Machina Forest. Fiora? You mean Dumban's sister? Do you know another Fiora? But why would Zanza release the Monado? He surely knows it would become a double-edged sword. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> double-edged because he said it twice? <laughs> okay. They're people! Like us! Are you really willing to kill another Homs? Yes. Sometimes needs must. <sighs> Even if it's Fiora! Well, I don't mean to play devil's advocate here, but it's not the same, Shulk. Fiora, as far as you guys know, doesn't remember who she is, and even as main is, she hasn't done anything to hurt anybody. Mooncar, on the other hand, remembers everything and has flat out admitted to wanting to kill all of you just so he could have the Monado, even saying that he loves his new Mechon body. It's pretty clear that he's acting of his own free will, Mechon or not. What's the reason for all of this? Why do Bionis and Mechonis have to keep on fighting? I have to find out why! Shulk should be CEO of CinemaSins. Oh, Boosh, how did any of you survive that? Shulk and Melia make sense, because Shulk used the Monado to grind his way down and caught Melia as she was falling, but do you expect me to believe that a Nupon like Ricky could hold the weight of both Ryan and Sharla and still hover down safely? I'd buy it if he did it by himself, but he's got two full-grown Homs dragging him down. And I don't even know how Dunban survived. Was I... dreaming? I don't know what you did, but you somehow survived that massive fall. Fiora, you're awake. Um, do you remember? My name is Sh oh, I can't believe it. My first kiss. I mean, does that count, though? 
Because you wouldn't call mouth to mouth CPR a kiss. This is more like a mama bird giving its babies food because they don't know how to process solids yet. Uh, I take it this cutscene was meant to be played during the night because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense why they'd have a fire on a beach during the day. I doubt they need the warmth. And it's not like they're cooking, at least they don't seem to be. Inside my heart, I was crying out desperately. But you didn't hear me. Nobody did. We always believed it was you. It's okay. You don't have to say that. What are you talking about? Did you not hear all the times they referred to you as Fiora? Bruh. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> ah, look at the top of his head. Machina. You mean. Machine people. Wait, haven't you guys been here longer than Dunban, Ricky, and Melia? Did you not ask who these people were when you arrived at the village? Were any words exchanged before the rest of the team got here? You do not look fully functional. Ever since she was given this body, she hasn't been feeling too good. But we honestly don't know what to do. Do you mean to tell me you are not Machina? How do you not know that? Aren't you a doctor? Plus, I would have figured her Homs looking head would have been a dead giveaway. Really? Nonsense. I am a doctor. Do not worry. I specialize in people in your... situation. If that's true, how did you not realize that she wasn't Just Machina? Shulk, I'm... Fiora. You're right, Shulk. That is Fiora. Don't think that's what she was going to say, though. The sword the young man is holding... Is that the Monado? It is. And the destruction of the fortress on the sword... Was that your lot's doing? Yes. Although, unfortunately, we were unable to stop Egil. Egg you. Yeah, you know, you know your son, the whole reason you requested to see us. In fact, you tell us this like two this seconds after this, so I don't understand why that was your reaction. I'm afraid she's had several of her organs removed. Am I correct in assuming she was configured to operate inside a mechon? Of course you would be correct in assuming that. You yourself said that she had been converted into a face unit. You lot go and take care of that eagle or whatever his name is. I know hindsight is twenty twenty, but doesn't anyone find it weird that Dixon knows about this place, his buddy-buddy with the chief of the village, assumedly visits often or at least somewhat recently, and yet he doesn't get Egil's name right? You might run into someone called Venea in the capital. Just mention my name, she'll lend a hand. Venea. Is she a machina as well? She's my daughter. I didn't bring this up when Mikol well, mentioned that Egil was his son, but Hold on. how do machina have children? You mean there's no mention of a mother, and there's a kid in the machina village that people say won't grow, but is this like a robot's thing where the parents build the kids and they just replace their parts as they get older? Like is there an organic component? I would assume not, given what Linata said earlier. What are the rules, damn it? This Hom's female. She was with the boy who wields the Monada. The light of her memory. It shines strongly in this one. Bring me face 20814. Man, Gatto's Jade Face Mechon doesn't even get named during a cutscene? That's facist. Wait, that was it? That was like three quests to get Monado armor. Monado Eater took like 70 just to raise the affinity of Central Bionis once! And personally, I find armor to be the more useful of the two. Why is Eater so much more time-consuming to get? Whoa! Don't look down! Anyone know where we are? Other than high up? Maybe... somewhere around the thigh? The thigh? You mean we ain't even halfway there yet? Dude, you're climbing a 12-kilometer Titan! I'm surprised that you guys are even at the thigh to begin with! I could make you a new rifle if you want. Thanks. But I... I want to keep using this one for now. Shulk, get a clue, man. It's more than just a weapon to her. She can't just throw it away and get a new one. Of course she yeah. can! And trust me, it's only because I chose to record these cutscenes so. with the default outfits oh. that she doesn't! We interrupt Xenoblade Chronicles to bring you the Subspace Emissary. More recent faces have had all memories of their previous lives completely erased. Is that because of me? No, it is not your fault. Mumkar seems the more likely candidate. His attachment to us was too strong. You could say it caused his destruction. That sword one and all. Well, not really. I mean, Zord didn't even remember who he was. No. Are you saying that Zanza is to blame for Makonis' devastation? It's Zanza's sword that I'm using. 
Does this mean we're enemies? And if so, why are you... Shulk, calm down. Damn it, Ryan, let the CEO of CinemaSin speak! Bring it on! These high ends here may be a bunch of sissies, but they've got some pretty nifty gear! Didn't Vanguard die during the attack on Colony 9? I mean, granted, we didn't really see him die, but when this happens... <sighs> Followed by Ryan saying, The Colonel, the guys, I'm gonna destroy every last one of those damn mechon. There's only so many places your mind can wander. This is when Zanza was imprisoned. So, are they watching this on the projection? Or is this maybe on a screen? If so, who recorded it? Did video cameras exist back then? Do they even exist now? Gado! Stop! Why are you fighting us? Remember who you are! It's no good! He's completely under Egil's control now! Remember what Vanaya told us! I can't believe it! I won't believe it! Damn it, woman! Listen to the robot lady with the big boobs! Which... Why does she have boobs? They don't serve a purpose like they do for Homs, do they? Wouldn't that make them somewhat organic? The Machina, I mean, not the boobs. Tell me, boy, are you familiar with the concept of starvation tactics? Of course. <sighs> a military strategy in which you cut the supply lines and starve out the enemy. Breaking the fourth wall. Is he supposed to be saying that to Ryan? Because as part of the Defense Force of Colony 9, shouldn't he know what that is? And honestly, it looks like he's looking at the screen more than he's looking at Ryan. Uh, how could this happen even with the Apocrypha? You know, Egil. You know the reason. Hmm. The power of the will to protect your own. Is that what you refer to? My friends are my power cliche. And what of you, Vanea? You would side with those of Bionis and attack me. You have forfeited your right to exist. Perhaps. If that is to be my fate, I gladly accept, brother. As would any of the villagers. So the few remaining members of my people have now betrayed me. I don't think they ever agree with you to begin with. I mean, shit, dude, even your own dad wants you dead. You should have gone for the head. Shook, good news from His Highness. The Allied force retreated in time. Casualties were kept to a minimum. Wait, what? Did you guys not see the ocean of people that fell into the ocean? How did they manage to save all of them? The Monado isn't at full strength. I don't know if it can beat Egil. You're talking about that apocryph, whatchamacallit thing. Don't worry. He's no match for all of us together. At least the previous encounter allowed us to gauge how he fights. We won't make the same mistakes again. What, like the letting him live? Do you guys realize you generator. won the last fight, Destroy right? The, the core is directly linked to the apocrypha generator. Destroy the generator, and the apocrypha field will deactivate allowing Shulk's Monado to function properly again. Now you'd tell us. I wish you'd said something earlier. What would have been the point? You guys hadn't even been to the core yet. If I concentrate, I feel like something will happen, and it does. Are you saying you don't need a vision to know what comes next? Pull the other one. Ryan, you're going to scratch your head with your right hand. I could have told you that. What do you want he does it all the sure? time. That and the arm stretching thing. Around. Shulk. You can... <sighs> Heartbroken Melia, just... how dare you? How many? Huh? How many do you think died in that attack? Hundreds? Maybe thousands? I don't even think there are hundreds of people on Bionis total. Hundred maybe, but hundreds? Echo, I don't have any... Reason to kill you. Even if you do not, I still do. I know. But I won't do it. If you do not kill me now, my blade will annihilate every last one of your people. I don't understand, Egil. Do you Even want then, to die? Because Shulk's letting you go, and you keep giving him a bunch of reasons to kill you. I'll do it. 
Lady Mayneth once said that aside from the Bionis and the Mekonis, this world is filled with nothing but boundless ocean. But, but what, what lies, lies beyond, beyond that? that? We, we are, are still, still young and unable to leave the Bionis or the Mekonis. What, you haven't invented boats? Oh, the High Anti have light teleportation technology. Surely someone could have built a spaceship or something by now. I don't know much about any curse. For now, all I can do is this, Egil. We can live in peace again. Good on Shulk for learning to forgive and forget, but this dude is still responsible for kidnapping and killing a bunch of people. You realize that. Zanza's disciple. Zanza's disciple? Egil, what do you mean? Dixon, what are you? I don't have to explain anything. Well, you're about to do it anyway, so... As they say, seeing is believing. What does that even mean right now? now you shooting Shulk doesn't make me believe you're Zanza's disciple. It just makes me believe that you live up to your name, you son of a dick. Shulk was already dead. That's impossible. We grew up together. You grew up with an empty shell. He appeared to live because I became his life force. So... By definition, he could not have been an empty shell if you were his life force. Which also makes me question Arglazanza, because if your soul was inside of the Monado and also supplying Shulk's body with life, what was inside of Arglas's body? Was Arglas more of a zombie infected with the Z-Virus? Z, of course, standing for Zanza. I just don't understand how Zanza could possess both Shulk and Arglas at the same time, especially when his soul was also in the Monado. But why use Shulk? What was it that made you select Shulk as your vessel? There was no particular reason. Shulk merely happened to be there at the time. Oh, so it's just a huge coincidence that you two look and sound exactly alike. Bionis moves! Wouldn't the Bionis moving kill a bunch of life on it? Isn't that the equivalent of like 10 earthquakes in one? Imagine how many people just got yeeted by the Bionis awakening. Brother! Stop! You're too weak! I don't care. I will gladly sacrifice myself to eliminate Xanta. As long as he lives, there can be no peace for us, or for the people of Bionis. Well, there's not gonna be a Bionis if you keep driving the Mechon sword into it, Egil. Does the Bionis have its own gravitational pull? Because otherwise, I don't think the Prison Island and Alchemoth should be moving alongside it. In fact, after that movement, I don't think the Earth Sea should exist anymore. This body, the energy from the chest component made it work. It turned out to be a Monado. <laughs> Such a strange feeling. A Monado? Was that the Monado that Zamza took from Maynith? Yes, Melia, you were there. Did you not see it happen? Will you walk the path laid out by Zamza? Or will you walk a new path? So I don't know if it's because Alvis knows Shulk has a third Monado, but why is he being so encouraging to the Shulk Monado about existing outside the passage of fate, you. but was giving Ryan and Dunban a bunch of lip back at Colony 6? Because when you think about it, both Ryan and Dunban have changed the passage of fate. Even though Shulk knew it was going to happen to Atharon back at the Aether Mine, he still couldn't save him. Ryan did. Yeah, it was because Shulk told him what was going to happen, but he only did so because Ryan convinced him to stop keeping his visions to himself. Yes, Shulk saw himself fighting alongside Melia on Prison Island, but he also saw a Telethia killing her at the High Antia tomb, and the only reason we were able to save her was because of Dunban using his wit to convince Kallion to let us into the High Antia tomb at all. <laughs> Alvis. Are you? You already know. You know what I am. Does he, though? Because even you admit later on that Shulk most likely can't even fathom what you are. Ah! Forget about the Monado, kid. More space between Zanza and us, the better. If Ryan's got time to sound off, we must be doing okay. We are doing okay. Ryan is correct. Perhaps we rely too much on the Monado. Well, you had to. I'm honestly shocked you guys can even fight this many Telethia without Monado Purge. Whether or not I could use it meant life or death in most cases. This is bullshit. I could see it. The future. I don't have the Monado. But it came to me, Ryan. Well, you don't have the Monado, but you do have this replica that the Machina made for you. Does that count as a Machina ex Machina? Is she dead? No. It looks like she just passed out. Let's get her to the infirmary. Ryan! Come on, why me? Oh, because you're the strongest and nobody else is here? Also, why is nobody else here? It's kind of weird that Shulk, Melia, Ryan, and Sharla are here, but not the rest of the party. On top of that, why is Melancholy Tyrea the only side quest with voice-acted cutscenes? 
I think it's a neat little side story that's too important to not have voice acting, wrapping up Tyrae and Yumea's stories, yet too out of place to incorporate in the main story, so I suppose that's why. But there are other side quests that could have benefited from voice acting too. Look me in the eye and say to me that the whole Destroy the City Trade series of side quests in Frontier Village wouldn't have been awesome with voice acting. That quest has so many prerequisites, it was practically a side story to this game, with some CSI level twists, uncovering a Nupon conspiracy involving a Pong being sold on the black market, going back and forth from Saturday Marsh all the way to Alchemoth, we crash a secret club, it's nuts! Hold on a sec. Are you saying that Tyrea is Kalyan's half-sister? That's right. Then isn't she in the same position as you? Mm-hmm. Uh, no? If Tyrea is Yumea's daughter, but is still Kalyan's half-sister, doesn't that mean she's not Sorian's daughter? Meaning she's not the Emperor's child? Meaning she's not a princess? Look! Over there! Oh, come on, dude. I spent hours fixing the colony back up. Not for the people, I mainly did it for the mobile furnace and the experience up three, but still! Here we go! Wait, is this the only time we see a Hyantia actually use their wings to fly? Like you would think, right? But we only ever see them flying on Havris, so I figured that the wings were just left over from the Telephia gene. She'll be alright. We and Tyrea share the same goal. Our paths are sure to meet again. Yeah, you're right. As far as I could tell? Melia. Nope. What? Wait, Kalyan's still alive? I thought he died in the giant explosion after Makana's core. Because, you know, Brother! it was an explosion. There is, no Brother! there is no use in calling. It worked before, but now his transformation is complete. Is it? Because pretty much every other Telethia looked like a fully formed beast. Kalyan's over here looking like a fucking Resident Evil monster. Man, f this fight. It's bad enough that it's another Telethia, thank main if I don't have to deal with having to apply Monado Purge though, but trust me, there's plenty more that makes this fight mega annoying. For starters, she summons four different kinds of nebulae, meaning that you have not one, not two, not three, not four, but five different sources to be taking damage from. And as if that weren't enough of a hassle to deal with, you're surrounded by little pools of ether, which you'll take damage from it if you enter them, meaning that your teammates, the garbage AI that they are, will constantly insist on attacking the nebulae from the ether pools, taking more damage than they need to. And don't even get me started on this bitch! Every single one of her arts suck! Ether Laser lowers your ether defense, spoiler alert, all the enemies in this fight primarily use ether to attack, and on top of that, it inflicts art seal, meaning you can only auto attack doing chip damage. Obliterate is an AoE, meaning everyone around her is screwed because it causes knockback followed by topple, leaving you wide open for more attacks. Big Bang 6 is a fun one. Not only does it cause daze, it also applies confuse on you, meaning you're open to be attacked followed by not being able to control your character. Elemental Barrier summons more nebulae, so sorry if you focused your efforts on the one when the battle started, now you gotta deal with even more of these bastards. Elemental Activate causes her to have an awakening, raising her level and therefore her stats, so if you thought she was hard before, hoo boy! And finally, she has Shield Recovery, meaning that if you applied any debuffs to her, as you should, they're gone now. Just gone! Oh, and it also applies debuff immunity, meaning you can't apply any debuffs for a little bit. And I hope you like repetitive lines, because I am so sick of this absolute trash heap saying, you'll pay for your insolence over and over and over and over again. All this to say, this fight is bad, I don't like it. I can sense Dixon. We must be near the top. If we proceed from here, we will be unable to return. What, like regardless? How do you know that, Dunban? What do you think is going to happen after we beat Dixon? I'm done. I'm going home. Dixon! I just wanted the power of a god. Is turning into a Homs just a thing giants can do? Did Zanza give him that power? So, how did we get here? What happened after we beat Dixon? Did we all just pass out and wake up here? That voice. It's Zanza. No, I'm pretty sure that's the Smash for Wii U and 3DS logo. We interrupt Xenoblade Chronicles to bring you Shadow the Hedgehog. In order to escape his own annihilation, he wished for a world in a perpetual cycle of destruction and recreation. Biolis being filled with life, and the Telethia coming to wipe it out. It was all the will of Zanza. It was. But the truth of the matter is that he longed for friendship. Did he? Because he didn't seem to make much of an effort if he destroyed and recreated the world several times and only got three friends out of it. 
And I use the term friends very loosely, considering Lorathea wanted immortality, Dixon wanted power, and Albus was never faithful to begin with. And hell, Maynith had an easy time making friends with the Machina. If Zanza was so afraid of being forgotten and wanted friends, why didn't he just do what Maynith did? It's salty! What's up with the water being so salty? Well, I don't know how things work in this new world Shell created, but it is the ocean, Ryan. Oh, Fiora got her Hom's body back. But their ship name could have been Deus Ex Machina. Man. vibe. Hey everyone, Charai5 here. Thanks so much for watching my CinemaSins pastiche of everything wrong with Xenoblade Chronicles. I'd like to thank my supporters on Patreon and my channel members. If you want to be featured in future videos, then consider helping me out a little bit each month or hit that join button. To those who do support, stay awesome. You guys should head over to CinemaSins, the awesome people that I pastiche. They also host sister channels that cover music videos, brands, and other topics. If you have some time, why not check out everything wrong with Kingdom Hearts 3? Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Char I5, signing off. <laughs>